We've all heard of the Grand Canyon, but what is the Grand Staircase? What can we learn about it? What can we learn about the formation of the Grand Staircase? Join me today with my guest, Russ Miller. Let's find out more right now on Wonders Without Number. So you're at the rim looking down, as you put it, a big hole in the ground, because that's really all it is, a big hole in the ground. And it's a mile from the rim to the river. Now that's a big hole in the ground. Sure is. What they won't tell you at Grand Canyon is that that mile of, of stratified layers, the 10 primary layers that make up the walls of the canyon, that's nothing. There used to be almost two miles of layers above today's rim wow. that have been removed for tens of thousands of square miles. Two additional miles on top of the rim of the canyon. Yes. Now how, how, could you, how, how could you possibly go about proving that? I mean, is that just speculation? Is there something we can see today that would point us to this? There is absolute proof of this okay. in what is geologically known as the Grand Staircase. Okay. Now most people have not heard of the Grand Staircase, which is really a shame because Together, this whole area is the greatest proof of the global flood anywhere in the world, yet it's used by sacralists to undermine people's faith in not only the flood, but in, in a, the authority of God's word and their faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior for that matter. When you're standing at the rim of the canyon, and I'll, I'll do a, a talk on the rim and people will be looking down in the canyon and I'll say, hey, would you guys like to see some of the most awesome proof of the global flood anywhere in the world? And everyone's looking down the canyon going, yeah, where is it, where is it? I'll say, well, if you're looking in the canyon, you're looking the wrong way. 